VTG printer parts. Today I'm going to be presenting to you the Schultz Pre-Treat Maker 4. There's some slight differences between the 3 and the 4. The first difference is that the 4 has a bigger window. Bigger window allows you to see exactly which nozzles are firing and how they're firing as opposed to the 3 where the window cuts off about right here and you're not able to see the spray pattern. On the 4 uh, this means that you don't have to open up the drawer and check the spray pattern while a bunch of mist is coming out and you're inhaling that mist. So the 4 takes care of this issue. So now we can just check our pattern and see through the window. Same quick change nozzles just a twist and a turn. Unlike some pre-treaters where you have to do all kinds of crazy things and grab wrenches and, and pull out the nozzles, it can take anywhere from three to four minutes. So on this machine it makes it really easy for the end user. It's got the same drawer to pull out, just like the three. The same nice uh, big bed. You can put shirts through or hoodies, however you'd like. You can stack some shirts on and uh, pre-treat one at a time and pull them off. It's really easy to use. You just lay your shirt down, press a button, and it's done. Shirts pre-treated very quick. It's a closed system, so you won't get any overspray. Now we can go into the functions. Okay, we've got the water function, just like the three, to flush out your lines at the end of the day. You've got your pre-coat function, which is your pre-treat. Uh, this was made in Germany, so you can understand why they call it pre-coat. You've got different presets right here, so you can uh, preset for like let's say we were, were wanting to do a lot of left chest we can just deactivate those nozzles set our settings for the length and when we want it to begin so we can have different presets for different jobs uh, notice how I deactivated the nozzles each line makes up one nozzle so if we deactivate those two the front two or the first two will be the only one spraying which will allow us to save some money instead of having to pre-treat the whole garment. Let's get into the settings. You can begin where you want the pre-treat to start. It would start right here. You can set the length. You can set the speed of the carriage. You can choose just about any language, um, any major language, and it also can uh, turn the measurements into inches instead of centimeters. You can adjust the pressure of the pump, which we like to leave at the stock settings. They've got videos here so that if you or a worker forgets how to do something, Everything is here from daily maintenance to handling of the pre-treat. There's also another function uh, that lets you flip the diagram here, which really isn't much of a function, but uh, if you have a worker that forgets to lay down the shirt a certain way on, on the table, at least it will let them visualize where they should lay the neck of, of the shirt. We usually leave the neck at the front instead of the back because once it's done pre-treating, you, if you have a small operator, you'd obviously have to grab the shirt, reach over very far, and then pull it, and that could potentially cause your operator to fold the shirt 
which spreads the pre-treat around and your print will come out uneven. You just push the button, pre-treat, pull it out, press and you're done. You've got the same opening from the top, so you can clean everything, it's very accessible. There are some drainage uh, lines down here, so any excess pre-treat or water drains uh, and goes into the waste tank, which is in on the bottom of the pre-treater. You've got some instructions here, just uh, as far as maintenance. You've got this side drawer. Okay, this is one of the differences between the three and the four is that there's two jugs for pre-treat. You can use dark in the bigger one and light in the smaller one, which most people do, unless you need to put more light in one and, and less dark in the other. Distilled water jug to flush out. You can switch tanks to use. So you can switch from tank to tank very easy and cleaner to pre-treat. It runs off 110 or 220 volts. And the difference between the four and the three as far as voltage is that the three has a switch and the four doesn't. It automatically detects the voltage, makes it easier so that you don't forget to switch voltages. Other than that, it is basically the same machine with some minor tweaks and those minor tweaks are actually really cool. If you have any questions about our products, give us a call 855-384-7278, visit dtgprinterparts.com or the dtgprinter.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.